Surgery has successfully separated conjoined twins Alex and Angel Mendoza. Early show correspondent Debbie Torter-Bell is at Children's Hospital in Phoenix with more. Debbie, good morning. Good morning, Julie. It took five months of planning, 19 medical professionals, and 14 hours of surgery. The separation of these conjoined twins was an amazing journey, and we have the first pictures of how it all happened. Good morning, everybody. It's 7.30 a.m., and everyone feels the weight of this moment. Um, excited, nervous, um, ready for this day to be here for him. The medical team that has cared for Alex and Angel Mendoza for the last five months have become like family. It will be a long day for the twins. Lead surgeon Dr. Stuart Lacey says the surgery could take up to 24 hours. Even so, the wait for mom Ashley Frank seems unbearable. Last night was hard. We didn't sleep. The twins are connected from the waist to the pelvis, sharing a liver. Four hours into the surgery. We have divided the liver. Things are going well. This is, this is good. My stomach just dropped like, oh my gosh, wow, this is going to be better than I expected. For five months, these two precious little boys have lived as one. Constant contact is all they've known. Now, exactly nine hours after the surgery began. Okay, this is the last cut. The news everyone has waited to hear. Ashley, it's Dr. Lacey, and your two separate little boys are doing fine. They're both on their backs at the same time for the first time ever. Oh, what an amazing sight. Actually, the boys were in surgery for another five hours after they were actually separated to finish things individually. Angel came out of surgery first at 1.01 a.m. local time. Alex followed just eight minutes later at 1.09. It's good news, Julie. It sure is. Wow, so what's next? When do they get to go home? Oh my goodness, they are in for a long road uh, for recovery. First of all, I spoke with Dr. Lacey just a few minutes ago and they're doing great. They're doing really good. But there will be some more surgical procedures. They have to see how what they did yesterday heals and develops, determine how they're going to develop, whether they can use their legs, that kind of thing. So we're really in for a long haul. Yesterday, Dr. Lacey said, I'm sh slow to celebrate. I'll celebrate when they graduate from high school. <laughs> so they're gonna be watching them for a very long time and we'll keep an eye on them too, Julie. All right, CBS's Debbie Turner-Bell in Phoenix. Thanks, Debbie.